that many people have been persuaded that the name of true Elohim is not name of Yahweh but Yahuwah. I heard this also and when I heard this teaching doctrine I have wondered in my heart why these people call upon the name of Yahuwah why not upon the name of Yahweh when the Spirit of Yahweh fell upon me he took me to heaven and I heard with my own ear and I saw with my own eyes that Yahweh is Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yet, there are many people persuaded today that this is not true and correct. They even using Pileo Hebrew to give proof and evidence that those who call upon the name of Yahweh are full and deceived and do not know the true Elohim. And they teach that only we who call upon the name of Yahuwah is the true people of Elohim. And we know His name. I have meditated and prayed to Yahweh for many days and months. Because it brings so much confusion and doubt to many people who follow Yahweh. I have wondering and meditate about this subject for many men for many days and months. And Yahweh knew this. He know that I have this question. And my soul magnify the Yahweh of host because the spirit of Yahweh is upon me. And Yahweh of hosts has anointed me to speak the truth. This is why in December 26, 2010, between midnight and 4 o'clock in the morning, right after Shabbat service, I have received two dreams but they speak on one thing he who have an ear to hear let him hear hear my brethren what the servant of Yahweh have received behold the first dream in this first dream I saw that I stood in the front some kind of building I do not know what kind of this building, but it looks like a castle or maybe a wall or very old building like in the time of David and Solomon. For I looked very carefully and I beheld it was built from very huge stones and, and I look in the front of me, it was a door about six feet tall and five feet, five, feet, five feet wide and as we came to this door it's probably 15 or 20 people my brothers who came to this door and we expect something important to happen and as we came to this door the door is open outside and from this door I saw that woman sitting on a royal throne 
came out from this door and I look and I beheld that she sat on a royal throne. This is royal throne has been built from a wood and overlaid with a precious stone and gold. Then I looked on the left, on the right side of this throne, as she sat, it was large wheel, like in chariot. It was a wooden wheels, very beautiful, very large wheels, overlaid with gold and precious stone. It looks like a royal throne, but on a wheel, similar like wheelchair for handicapped people today. As she sat on this chair or throne, many people, strong men, I saw no woman, neither children, but only strong men on a full age, about 40 years of age, many people stood around her. And they wear some dark uniform. And as she approached to us, I look upon this woman. She was a beautiful woman, about 35 years of age, and she was adored in a queen royal apparel. I saw there is beautiful gold right here and many precious stone. And she sat on this throne. And as soon as she approached to us, she opened her mouth and she spoke blasphemous words and cursed and mocking Yahweh names. I could not bear this any longer. I was so moved with jealousy for the name of Yahweh. And I drew near unto her and I took her by my own hand like this. And I said, shut your mouth, witch. But those people who stood around her, as were a strong man, and they smite me in the face and other people smite me and they also smote those people my brother who stood around me and we became fighting with them and they were much stronger and prevail against us so they beat us and we have been so afraid of them and we left and escape but they pursue after us hardly and as I run away from them from this witch they pursue and I look behind me and as many as they catch, they kill our brethren. So I pursue, they pursue after us and I run of them from all my being as much as I could. And I look, make sure they not catch me. And about half a mile from this city, it was a wall, defense wall surrounding this castle. It's about five or six feet tall. And I, as I looked at this wall, I was afraid. How can I jump over? If I will not jump over or climb over, those men who pursue me, they will kill me. But in a moment, I am just climb over this wall and I jump over. And I look, they almost catch me. But I was fully from them. Then about 100 feet apart, it was another defense wall. I climb over the second wall and jump over and I run and run and run. I look and make sure that they pursuer left me. Yes, they left me at the first wall. They left pursued us. And I run about for 10, 15 minutes, about half a mile from the second wall. And I stood and I look behind me and the pursuer left us. Then I saw on the left there is also other brothers who stood. Then we turned and see what happened. And I looked about half a mile as we left this wall. I look then those are brothers who could not jump over those wall. They have been killed by the, those who follow the witch. Ah, oh, it was so painful. I wept over my brother for I was could not help them. I was so afraid of my life that I left him and I could not help him. Oh, it was so terrible that I could not help my brother. And I beheld how they being killed. Oh, tears just fell from my eyes and I wept for my brother. I wept because I could not help my brothers. 
And I went for about 10, 20 minutes. And then I saw that these pursuers left beating and killing our brothers. So they gathered together in the field and went back to those which we wait another maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I looked and make sure there is nobody left. And they left all of them. Then carefully we come back to the first and second wall and I make sure there is nobody lying in wait to kill us also. And I climb over the fence first and second. Then I look and I saw there's nobody really lying in wait to kill us. And I looked and I saw there is one brother lying on the field, still breathing, still alive. So I carefully came to him on my knee and on my palm. And I look and I saw he's still breathing. He was deadly wounded, yet he was still alive. And I came to him and I took his body, lying his head on my arm, and I said, Brother, brother, brother. And he opened his eyes. And he looked on me and he said, Ah. 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 And he said to me, Swear me. Swear me that you will rescue my two sons. Ah. And I said to him, Oh, yes, my brother. Yea, my brother. Yea, my brother! And I wept over him. And he died on my arm. I left him on the grass. And tears fell from my eyes. For I could not rescue him. I could not help him. And I looked at his other carcasses. Dead body of our brothers lying on the grass. So I went back. I crossed over first and second wall, and then another brother, about seven or eight of us, who is left alive. We gathered together, and as we took a journey to the wilderness, in our way to the wilderness, I find his two sons. Those sons was hidden in some secret place because of these persecutions. And I took them with me. His children, two sons, were about 12 or 13 years of age. And I took them with me. This is the first dream. Oh, blessed be. Oh, blessed be. The Spirit of Yahweh is upon me. Oh, Rabbi Shakara. Ur-Rabha-Shandara-Vashila-Rabha-Khika-Bas-Suji Urraba Shandara Valeri Mahaidi Mazuri Urraba Shari Makaidi. Oh, blessed be Yahweh. Blessed be Yahweh. The Spirit of Yahweh is upon.